And hello everybody, welcome back to a new episode of Civilization 4. We are playing as Japan, and hey, we actually got a decent deal out of America here. But you know what? I'm actually going to get rid of all his happiness. And we're just going to have to deal with that ourselves. Public transportation is pretty good. Oh, we do kind of need it, don't we? Yeah. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, I'm gonna just grab more infrastructure. Yeah. Oh, CN Tower, 25 turns in the city. What? You know what this city can do for me? It can build me a military. What? Okay, but he's still building it, isn't he? Building it in this city. 25 turns. Maybe we could sabotage it. Or something. Right, you can grab that. Yeah, I know. I know France is taking that city, probably. Damn it, China. Oh, wait, then again. Not necessarily. No, all is not lost. Wow. Well, we've got this fleet here, just in case they do want to try some stupid game. Right, you attack. Cool. And then you head over this way. Right, we upgraded most of our units here. Once we get those nuclear plants, the production's gonna actually skyrocket. <laughs> but yeah, the French are still gonna probably take the city. Which is alright. Um... Yeah, America's too far ahead, but what we could try to do, maybe, is try to get America and Russia into a war. You know, exchange a few blows, maybe Russia will collapse. The problem is, where is it? We just don't like you enough, really. Such a dick. Oh, and he's already got flight. Ah! See, he's pulling out way too far ahead, and that is a problem. There's a problem for everybody involved. Okay, so we've got our machine gunner dude we were going to bring down to here, which is fine. And, yeah, we're going to dump these guys ashore. Get you upgraded. Can't upgrade you, but we could actually go and defeat that army pretty reasonably. And there was something to be said about, what, finishing the CN Tower? No, it's not going to happen. I know, I should have built it here. But we are going to build a barracks here, and we're going to start pumping out a military. And then we're going to see if we can take more independent cities. Uh, ooh, machine gunners. Okay, well that's sucky. Alright. Attack Russia. Not going to happen. Um, so yeah. We can win a science victory. I mean, I think I think I could pull ahead of America and win a science victory. But we don't get enough time to do that. We've only got about 53 turns worth of time left. So we're probably going to get the time defeat. So that does kind of suck. I wish Canada would just suddenly pop up and, like, ruin America or let America collapse. But that's why I've got all my spies around. So we are going to use our spies here. And we're going to hopefully do a bit of damage. I can't, unfortunately, block his production towards the Apollo program. But maybe if he starts going for the science victory, you know, destroy a few parts here and there. Okay, what's going on, dude? My offer is a thousand gold. What? Okay. So he wants war. I mean, he's a little bit behind in some techs. So, you know, I mean, if he goes to war with me, especially from this city, then, yeah, he's going to have a bad time. Uh, he could easily overrun us there, but, you know, in time, we could definitely get something going. Um, I'm going to spread these guys back out. Yeah. I mean, if we ate, invaded Indonesia... Made him our vassal, right? Like, hang on. Okay, yeah, so France took that. He left his cannons vulnerable as hell. So, well done. Cool. I'm totally 
up for just absolutely blowing these apart. Oh, what? Oh. You gotta be kidding me, man. I should use my cannon. Okay. I mean, yeah, finish the cannon off, I guess. Come on. There we go. Yeah, and I think just bring down some soldiers. Yeah. It's gonna cause unhappiness probably. Yeah, that's fine. I don't care. Right. So Oh, we can bring you back. That's good. And yeah, we'll just have to retake the city. Can we bombard it? Oh no, he's probably already bombarded anyway, so it's fine. Do 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 do. Perhaps if we have a more advanced vassal. What about you? Are you collapsing? Oh no 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 no. Do not collapse, please. Honestly, I will definitely lose if you collapse. Which is, you know, I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. Like, I mean, I've already achieved my victories. I'm, I'm happy with the Japan I've built, but. Ugh. Don't don't collapse. Just don't do it, man. <laughs> I wish the Russians and the Americans just collapsed right now, and we would be great. We would be doing so well. But yeah, it is a very stereotypical game when America and the Russians end up as the superpowers. And of course England, you know, but England's always going to be like second rate when it gets to this point in the game. Like England's usually the one that pulls ahead for a very long time and then America and Russia with their huge infrastructures and their massive goals. So they'll be really fun to play and I do look forward to playing as them. But yeah. Uh, dude, really? Give me a good event. Like, come on. Alright. So yeah, I'm not actually unhappy with being defeated again. It would have been nice to get a victory this time. I was really, really, you know, bucking for it, but... Yeah. Get it next time. Alright. Oh, finally got our spy into Russia. Oh, and we should probably, like, finally do something here. Like... Naval supremacy! Haha. <laughs> And city revolt. Where are my other spies? Oh, there's one. And hmm, these aren't actually that great. Can of espionage, yeah. Noise. And I think, actually, I put all my focus from uh, Russia onto America. Yeah, I just, I want to really cripple them. Yeah, so he finished that. Well done. And he's probably about to finish this. Also well done. No, we can't double click. Canada, come back, my friend. I miss you. Like, North, well, it's because North America has been allowed to unite North America as well. So he's just, he's completed his entire sort of North American empire here. Apart from California. Which if he had, he would just be absolutely running amok. He would, yeah, this game would be over. If he had it. It would be very terrible. Yeah. And he's so far ahead technologically. That there's not much I can do. Except hope he doesn't get a science victory or some something like that. But I don't think he will. He'll just he'll it'll be one of these two winning. Got a national park, very beautiful. Okay, get me another broadcast Oh then again, I mean wouldn't we just like to pump out a ton of units? Maybe we could invade Russia. And then become yeah. Alright, so we're gonna vote for ourselves again to become the head of that. And yeah, what if we could invade Russia, right? I mean, he's got a huge military, but... You know, if we if we cause him to collapse, and then we take his territories... 
Ooh. Like these ideas. All right, we put Washington in a revolt, which is great. Put you in New Orleans. <gasps> what? Oh my god, it happened. Guys, it happened. America went to war with Russia. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Thank you. Oh my god. I am very happy with that, actually. Okay. I can't reach you in one turn. Again, you can't really defeat us, so that's fine. Oh my god, this is our opportunity. Of course, you know, I mean, defeating Russia isn't necessarily going to make us win. Still, that is perfect. I'm so glad that they're at war, because they might nuke each other. More than likely, America will just nuke Russia, because they don't have nukes, but, you know. Ugh. I need you to give me technologies, uh, England. So, yeah, I think we just build up a huge military here, and, uh, yeah, and go storm them. Yeah, let's do it. Let's just build up a huge, massive military Megadeth. <laughs> Megadeth. Um, what else we got in this city? Oh, we could send our machine gunner. He can defend the tile, which is good. All right, next turn. This could work out. Yeah, this could actually work out. I mean, if we cause Russia to collapse, I'll be very pleased. And heck, even if America still won, oh well. Then America still won. I want them to destroy each other. I'm just hoping that nukes will fly. Can I make the little man fly? Not this little man. Alright, so... We've still got our Australian colonies. Our Japanese Australian colonies. Maybe if I'd held on to the Incas. But now it's just Argentina. Like, Argentina has just built itself up. That's usually what happens in South America. It just splits. And Gran Colombia hardly ever survives. So, playing as them, I can't... I, you know, like, if I play as them, I'd be very honored. We are the most cultured civ in the world. I'm very pleased with that. No! I'm going to trade for that. No, you don't really have any money. Right, Germany has returned. Wouldn't it be swell if Germany went to war with everybody as well? Oh, oh there's... No, no, Grand Columbia's still around. Cancel my deals with the Russian. You know what? I will. Yeah. Although we just lost a lot of money doing that. Ah, oh, that's right, because of the football event. But yeah, we will do that. And yeah, Russia refuses to talk, which is hilarious. Flight. I mean, if we went for fascism, right? We could probably defeat Russia. And if we took them over, then glory would be ours forever and ever. Plus, we could definitely attack them right now. Okay, but we need to deal with this stupid Connie. Ah. Uh, God damn it, France. Why did you do this? Alright, we have to head to that tile first. Alright, bombard. Bombard? Maxima. Crucio. And what can you do? Influence civics. We will force them to change their civics in one turn. And again, we've got two spies here. Alright, what about you? Are you any good, any better? No, not really. Alright, well, I would love, if we could, to get them to just change the Republic. Capitalism. What would really screw them up? What would just mess them up forever? No, changing them to a Republic would not do anything. What would mess them? 
egalitarianism. No, he's, he's actually no, he's actually on a pretty good track here. But changing him to a naval focus would actually mess him up. Yeah, yuck. Damn it. Alright. We'll just have to wait a little while longer. Oh, this could be our opportunity to go to war, though. I mean, we've got infantry. We could really just take this city right now. I think we should do it. But first, I do want to make sure that I've got a uh, defense pact. Oh, no, that's not. <laughs> almost, almost got you there. Uh, waiting. Why oh, doesn't want one? Really? Hmm. I don't think Russia has any allies here, so it wouldn't be such a bad thing. Maybe I should wait a bit longer, though. But here's what I'll do. I'll send all my units to the front lines. Well, what will become the front lines. And yeah, next turn we'll declare war, because then we'll have a lot more units to throw at them. Alright, so some big wars happening. We've got flight now, which could come in useful. Artillery might be useful as well actually definitely would be useful. But yeah, we'll have to move in here very quickly and just seize those cities. Of course, there is the chance that he could attack me from the north. I don't think... Oh, he's got infantry here. I mean, he could, but we could just rally our forces up here. Yeah. War as hell. Could go and take this over. Russia declared war on Germany. Well then, it looks like Russia is the all-round world bad guy. Which I like. I like Ike. We're doing well. Look, I mean, our tech well, once you have is propelling us up. You will walk the earth with your eyes turned skyward. For there you have been, and there you, you will long, long to return. return. Um, ecology. Well, what we really want is artillery, isn't it? Or refrigeration. Refrigeration. Do we want refrigeration? Fishing industry. Industrialism. Well, that gives us marines and tanks and all that really cool stuff, so... Maybe it would be wiser just to grab that. Getting an airport. Getting some bombers would be really cool. Yeah. I don't know about here, but yeah. Broadcast tower. Public transportation. Fiscal responsibility. Um, this city here, well, I mean, it can't do much, but I suppose we could work on some infantry. Okay. Again from the top. Yes! So we got him to change his government to a, a yeah naval supremacy which he's not going to enjoy very much unfortunately which is hilarious although to be honest we probably don't need it anymore either but I mean when is he going to use a military I mean a, uh, a naval force okay so this city still has oh, it has tons of riflemen alright send these guys in and yet yeah, we'll start attacking Cool. Ernest Rutherford was born. Cool. New Zealand scientist, that one. Ah, oh, bah. Oh. Good. I don't think this is going to be enough. Oh, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Maybe we should just, like, everywhere, right? You're building bomber, which we could find quite useful. I guess when you're done, you could build us also some infantry. Frontline infantry. But taking this right now would actually be a good idea. 
And you know what? He is collapsing. If too many people collapse on him, then he's going to probably have a bad time. So, yep. We don't have open borders, do we? No. Good. Haha. Ba 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 ba. Oh, that spent an entire t really. Oh, and he could just swing around and grab that then. Ah. Oh. Well, if I'd known that was going to eat a whole turn. Right, screw it. But we do need to go and attack them. Okay, so you just wait there. You can also wait there. <laughs> Look at all those cannons. Man. Man, oh man. Right, we're going for industrialism. <sighs> yeah, we just need to pull out in points ahead of America. And if we have to do it by taking a few of these cities, then so be it. I would love to get some more vassal states, but yeah, they're not just going to openly go, Hey, I want to be your vassal, yo. Yeah, I'm half expecting this uh, cavalry here to just go behind and take that out. What can the Cossacks do? Are they just like, I mean, if they do collateral damage, I'm screwed. I know the Redcoats do collateral damage, which is awesome. I think what I want to do next is go up here, take some cities up in the north. And yeah, keep building on tech. I mean, we are still technically bigger than uh, Japan. I mean, than, <laughs> than Japan. Than America is. America. So, we should be okay. And yeah, as long as I keep pumping out the tech. Alright, so that's the turn. Nobody did anything. Which I'm very grateful for. Alright, more bombers. Everybody voted for me. Well, thank you. <laughs> well, I don't mind if I do. Right, attack city. Gotta get a victory, buddy. Gotta get a victory. Great. Just fantastic. You know, when it says 70%, I mean, I know. There's still a small chance that you'll fail, but come on. Alright, you've got to do it, buddy. You've got to do it. Yes. Thank you. Now, we can't make it to finish it, but we can attack this one. I don't know if I want to. Not without a really huge advantage, no. Risk is real. The risk is real. some bonuses. America completed its Apollo program. Well done, America. You must be so proud. Okay. Attack. All I need is a few more cities back in my control. Yes! You're a legend. Why then is it that this won't work? <sighs> There's two more. Okay. Right, I'm going to end the episode here actually. Because then the next episode can be a bit longer. So thank you very much for watching guys and I'll see you next time.